All right, here we go. I don't want to start talking about this law of cosines yet. I want to show you why you need it first. So go ahead and set up number, tri number one, triangle RST for me. I don't want to introduce this new law. I want you to understand why you need it now, why everything we've talked about is no good. Remember, remind me from Thursday, lowercase r, side opposite angle r, s would be the side opposite s, and angle t, buck 20. And we're looking for find side t. All right, real quickly, let's go over everything from the beginning of the unit. Why isn't all that hill sass 3060 sine cosine tangent going to work? OK, it's not what type of triangle. It's right triangle, so we can just stop talking there. All right, we introduced law of signs the other day. Law of signs, why can't I pop that out? Ready? Don't write down a thing. T over the sine of 20, I'm good so far, right? Uh, 12 over, what are you going to put? You can't. You're not going to introduce a new variable. And even if I change it to 11, I'm in the same spot. So does everyone see law of signs don't have enough information? We're all good. Law of signs, no good. All right, so now what I'm going to introduce today is called the law of cosines, which says the following. It's right up there in the box, so you don't have to copy it if you don't want to. A squared plus B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine A. Woo, there's a lot here. It's a little bit different than law of sines, and yes, it's not on the formula sheet. So bring your A game with it. Bring this and your A game on Friday. All right, real quick. A, B, and C, guess is what those represent. Sides of the triangle. But how do you know where to put where? Where to put what? Because look, this is RST, this is ABC. Ready? A value here. This number you're going to plug in at the very beginning of law of cosines, that is the side across from the angle in the problem. So for us, what's the angle in the problem I gave you? Angle T, 120, what's the side across? So it's going to be T squared. I'm going to start that off with. I always started off with the side across from the angle in the problem. B and C, those are the other two sides. So for us, what are the other two sides? 12 squared plus 11 squared. Minus 2 times, what did I just plug in for B and C, the other two sides? 12 times 11. Cosine of the angle across from whatever you started law of cosines with. So this is not just 120, though. It's cosine of 120. Make sure the cosine goes with it when you have an angle measure. You should be able to put this all in one line on your calculator. I'll do it with you. I'll get, get my calculator up. OK, everyone ready? 12 squared plus 11 squared. Everyone good so far? Minus 2 times 12 or 11, whatever you had come first, times 12 times cosine. 120. You should be able to put that all in one line, and it ends up being everyone getting 397 out. 397. That's hey, hey, that's not the side length. Don't get confused here. That's not the side length because I'm not done yet. That's the right side of the equation. Questions? The biggest thing, if you're not getting that number I've seen in the past, is people use the negative sign instead of the subtraction sign here. Hey, I use the subtraction sign here, not the negative sign. That will throw it off. All right, have some self-respect. Use the subtraction sign. Why is 397 not my side length? Because it's equal to t squared. That's my t squared value, 397. And then if I wanted the value of t, the last step, do what on both sides? Square root both sides. 
and then round to what it's asking, which is our case, the nearest integer. So T is about how long? 20 units. And that makes sense. Go back to your diagram. Is there going to be an angle bigger than 120 here? At all? Is there going to be an angle bigger than 120? Nope. So where's the biggest side? Have to be across from it, right? So that's why 20 had to be bigger than 12. This answer had to be bigger than 12 and 11. Only once. We were only doing it once. Everyone all right? I'm going to throw some hiccups in now, but law of cosines. Again, review. You always plug in first the side across from whatever is the angle that's given. And then B and C are the other two sides. Questions, comments? Yes, go ahead, Janine. I'm not going to bring it to you. All right, I don't have it on the formula sheet either. So yes, your answer is yes, if you want to use it. Questions? All right, let's roll. Go ahead, triangle ABC. We got a little uh, something new there for you. I got side A is four, side C is six. Oh, look what I did to you here. I didn't give you angle B. I actually gave you the value of cosine B is one, four, one sixteenth. So I don't know. I don't, I'm not a big fan of writing one sixteenth in there because that looks like it's a degree, but I don't know. Okay. And we're looking for side B, right? I always want to talk first why law signs isn't going to cut it. Why isn't law signs going to cut it? I don't have a darn angle. <laughs> All right, to plug in. I need two angles for law signs. I don't have, even have one of them. And plus, hey, no offense to anybody here. What's it say in the problem? <laughs> what, did I, what did I give you in the problem? Cosine of B, right? So maybe use law of cosines if I gave you a cosine value. All right, let's roll. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine A. All right, I'm going to start this off. Please, oh, please, don't think in this problem especially you're just going to plug in A, B, and C. No, that's not how this works. This bad boy right here is the side across from the angle in the problem. What angle did I give you information about? B. So across from angle B is side B. Are we all right there? It's not A, B, C. It's the side across from the angle in the problem that goes first. Equals other two sides. 6 squared plus 4 squared minus 2 times your B and C values were? What did you plug in for B and C in the law of cosines? 6 and 4. But now here's the change up. No good. No good. No good. It's the cosine of the angle. I don't know what the angle measure is, but I know the cosine, don't I? What's the cosine of the angle? Ready? That's it. Only time I put the cosine with it is if it's a degree measure. You already know the value. Plug it in. There's no need to put the cosine with it. You put the cosine with it if it's an angle measure like the previous problem. All right, so you shouldn't be hitting your cosine button at all right now. So go right ahead. Let's make sure we're all on the same page as far as the B squared value. So if they give you the value of cosine, just plug it right in. And we're all, we should be getting a nice number here of 49, not the side length. Take the square root of both sides, your B value, side of 7. Woo! Questions there for you guys. We're going to get a little tougher now. Anything going? All right, let's go. Three. All 
A is 5, B is 7, C is 10. Find the cosine of B. Not I don't want to know what angle B is. I just want to know what the cosine of B is. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for, the cosine of B. So let's fill everything out here, and then we'll talk. How do you think I'm going to start? First of all, why law cosines, not law sines? No angles, and what am I looking for? Cosine B. Okay, so I probably want to use law cosines. Out of these three sides, what do I start law of cosines off with? Y7. I'm looking for cosine of B. That's the angle involved in the problem, so I look across. I'm going to start this out with, yes, 7 squared equal to, what are the other two sides? 10 squared plus minus 2 times 10 times 5 cosine B. That's what I'm looking for, cosine of B, right? All right, so here's your job. I need your help to get cosine of B all by itself, okay, all by itself. And I know what some of you are going to do right off the bat. You're going to try to do all, hey, take a look up here. You're going to try to do all of this right now, but you can't. This is like a variable. Watch. 7 squared. Ready? 49. 10 squared. 100. 25 squared. 25 minus 2 times 10 times 5. Oh, boy. Here we go. 100. Okay, stop yelling. You cannot combine all three on the right. Here's why. Think of it like this. Can you do this? 100 plus 25 minus 100x. Which two can, can you combine all three? It's the same thing, except instead of an x, there's a cosine b. So we're the only two I can combine on that, this right side. 100, this 100 and the? 25. You cannot combine all three. I'm showing you right now. You can't. So it's going to be 49 equals 125 minus, don't fall, don't do it. Don't do it. So if I can't combine the 125 and the 100, what the heck do I do then? I still need to get cosine B by itself. Subtract over. Subtract over. What do I do here? Move the 125 over how? Subtract it over. Go ahead. All right. So I'm going to be left with negative 76. Oh, be careful here. Another common mistake. What's still left on the right side? Negative. Don't drop that negative. Negative 100 cosine B. And what are we looking to do on both sides? Divide by negative 100. I'd, I'd ask that you leave your answer as simplified as possible for me. So cosine of B. Your calculator should be able to turn it back into a nice simplified fraction for you. That's why I'd ask for it that way. Negative 76 over negative 100. 19 over 25. Make sure you can do that, please, in your calc. 19 over 25. I don't need to go any further. What did I ask you for at the beginning? What did I ask you for? Cosine B. I solved for it. There's nowhere else to go. Done. Whew. Anything? I'm going to go one step more here. You're all right. Now I want the angle in the next one. I actually want the angle in the next one. All right, so let's, all right, here we go. I know I'm throwing a lot at you here. 
That's why we're going to have tomorrow's a uh, day of all practice sine and cosines. Okay, so I got triangle red. RE congruent to ED, it's isosceles, they're both five. Base is eight. And I'm looking for, find the measure of angle E. Whew. Okay. Why no law of uh, sines? I only have one angle and that's X. I need at least two for law of sines. Okay, so that's why law of cosines is gonna be appropriate here. Uh, I think it's time for me to turn it over to you guys. Uh, two, what uh, side length should I start this with? Five or an eight? Eight, because it's across from the angle I'm trying to find. So eight squared equals, let's keep it going. Uh, two again, keep going. Eight squared equals plus five squared minus. Cosine E or cosine X, whatever you prefer. Okay, not just X, not just E, gotta be cosine E. All right, law of cosine says the cosine of the angle. Guys, I'm gonna do the same exact thing as I did for this last problem. Isolate the cosine E. All right, get it by itself and then we'll talk what do I do at the end. All right, isolate the cosine E. So we have 64, 25, 25, minus 50. Can you combine all three on the right? No, get it, get, don't, don't get that mindset. The only thing I combine are those two 25s to get 50. And plus, if you do try to combine them, I don't know where you're going from there. 50 minus 50. Other than writing help on your paper. I have gotten notes galore about how sad people are and if I would have sympathy on them. Yep. And I'm sure you know how I feel. Uh, how do I move? I just had a number up there. 12. How do I move that 50 over? Subtract it. Thank you. So we're looking at what here? 14 equals, be careful. No common mistake. Don't drop the negative. Negative 50 cosine E. Go ahead. Next step. 23, next step. Yep, divide both sides by negative 50. So I get cosine of E equal to, correct me if I'm wrong, negative seven over 25. All right, there's the cosine of E. How do I get the E, angle E? And we've done this already. We've done this. We've been here, how do I find an angle? Inverse, yes, but in this case, I'm gonna do inverse of cosine. So I'm gonna go inverse cosine and I'm gonna plug in negative seven over 25. Remember, anytime you need to find an angle, sine, cosine, tangent, law of sines, law of cosines, always use your inverse. And what are we looking at here? Nearest degree. So whenever you're ready there, uh, two again on fire today. One hundred six degrees for angle E. Yes. At that point, no, because it's not your final answer. But if it was your final answer, I would like you to. But since you're just going to plug it into your calculator on the next step, I don't need to need it simplified. Whew, everyone. All right. All right. So I've just shown you everything you can do with law of signs. Find a side and find an angle. Hey, 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 I'll just give you a little heads up. I will never, never ask you to solve for the B and C. You should never be in that position. The only thing I'm gonna ask you to solve for is the side across from the angle or the angle itself or the cosine of the angle. All right, I am never gonna ask you guys for this B, C value here, never. Okay, all good. And then, yep, we'll end it with a word problem for you. Oh, a little beam of a searchlight. 
at point W, all right, it's point W, sweeps back and forth to points A and B. So it looks like I got a triangle WAB, huh? All right, let's fill it in. Point W located 12 kilometers from A, 12 kilometers, 25 kilometers from B. And the distance from A to B is 29 kilometers. Find the measure of AWB. No law signs, I don't have enough angles. So law of cosines, you and your group. I got to have you do something on your own today. So go ahead, you and your group. Rounding directions changed here, not going nearest degree. All right, let's keep going here. I'm still, uh, I don't have uh, everyone getting the same results. Got 29 in there twice, right? This should be the side across 29, but what are the other two sides, 25 and 12? My 600, okay, for the negative, yep. Got the negative, it's gonna affect your answer. All right, yes, now that we're at this point, 96.9 degrees. All right, 96.9 degrees. Tonight's homework should be strictly law of cosines. Tomorrow, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna throw up a triangle and say, what do you got enough info for, sines or cosines? All right, that's tomorrow. All right. Uh, I'm gonna need a few people from uh, quiz number one to go up and shoot right now for me. Not quiz number two, what we just took. 